Hi my artist, Miss Pratt here, and I had a request for a video on how to draw some fish. So I gave us a few different options that we're going to work on today. And what you need is a piece of paper, pencil, and some colored pencils, okay? So these are my example pieces, and this is just out of my sketchbook. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open it up. And we're going to practice drawing them on the other side of the paper, okay? So I'm going to start with my pencil just in case I mess up. And then we'll go back and color them in. So we're going to start with this top one, which I made to look kind of like a beta fish. And we want to make sure that we're drawing lightly. Just in case we mess up, we can go back and fix it, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to do the top curve, this part. And you're going to do the bottom. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Do the best you can. Mine looks a little funny, and that's okay. These beta fish are very interesting looking. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come back from those two curves, and we're going to add the tail at the back. So you're going to come up almost like you're going up a roller coaster. And then you're going to curve down like it's come up the roller coaster here, and it's curving back down. And then, this is the fun part, you get to design what its tail's going to look like. Now, it doesn't have to be like mine. It could be totally original to you, okay? He needs a um, fin up top. Something like that. We're going to do his fin that sticks out from his side. And we're going to erase this line of his body so it doesn't look like it's cutting through his fin. And then you still will be able to see a little bit of the fin on the other side. Okay. All right. Now he needs a little spot for his mouth, his eye. And then normally there's kind of a line around their head where the scales are a little bit different. And then you'll see their scales going around. Okay. Now if any of you guys have had a bait up before, you know that they can have some really, really beautiful colors. They almost can look metallic or iridescent, like you can kind of see light through them. So it's going to be up to you to figure out what color your beta fish is going to be. Okay. Now we're going to work on this next fish. I don't really know what type of fish it is. It was just one that I thought of. All right, so this one's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to start with his mouth. And we're just going to curve back like that. Okay, so this will be his body, and then this will be his tail. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. We're just going to curve it back like that. Now we need to connect his tail. He needs a top fin that runs alongside the top of his body. He has a little fin right here. And a bigger fin right here. And then we do have to go back and erase the lines of his body so it doesn't look like it's cutting through his fins. Again, we're going to do the same thing with his head. We're going to do a line. Add a little spot for his mouth. His eye. And we're going to be a little different. We're going to do a line for his tail. And then have some lines coming out there. Okay, and now we're going to work on this little baby fish. So what we're going to do from here is this is probably the most simple way that you'll see to draw a fish. So what you're going to do is you're going to curve around like this. So curve around, almost like a ribbon. Need to connect his tail. Give him a little spot for his mouth. An eye, and a line around his face, and he needs a little fin, a top fin, and a little bottom fin. Now, the last one we're going to draw is probably the most tricky, but I think it's also the most beautiful. It's supposed to look like a koi fish. So if you've ever been, I think, the Virginia Tech Gardens, they have a koi pond. My grandparents have a koi pond. Um, if you've been to Dollywood, I think they have koi fish, I believe. 
but they're really beautiful, and I believe they're actually from Japan originally. But what's so interesting about this is we're doing a top view here, so it looks different than the other ones, right? So I'm going to show you how it's really not that tricky. It just messes with your head just a little bit more because it's not a straight on view. Okay. So what we're going to do is we need to draw his body first. We're not going to do his tail. What we're going to do, we're going to do a curved line like this. I know that looks a little funny. It's almost like a, a funny S. All right, we're going to come to this stop spot where we ended. We're going to curve it back. And it's going to meet up here. Now that looks a little silly, but it's okay. It'll all work out. All right, now what we have to do, we're going to go from this line. We're going to curve up. Almost making like a triangle. And then it's going to curve back and almost kind of crisscross there. Okay. Now this is his tail. Right, they have really beautiful tails. You can make it a little bit wider here if you need to. Alright, you need their side fin. Side fin on the other side. And then here, where we're looking from the top, their fin is not going to stick up like this. It's going to almost look flat. You're just going to be able to see it because it normally is a different color. So what you need to do is a curved line like that. Now you get to add his eyes, which are going to be ovals because you're seeing him from the top. Right, and I'm going to curve off to where that's not so much of a point. And then they have whiskers. Okay. Now that sounds funny. But they do have whiskers, kind of like catfish do. And then now, all that's left is to color our fish. So normally, like koi fish are orange and white. And uh, sometimes I think they can even have some black. If you have a goldfish, you may use some orange or yellow. So you can work on coloring in your fish right now. After you do that, you could color in the water. You could add some plants around your fish to give them something to eat or something to hide behind in case there's predators. All right, so spend some time decorating your fish. If you have some metallic markers, you could add some pretty scales to your betta fish. Um, I had a betta fish who was blue and purple, so I may get some of my blue and my purple to mix in here. All right, so... You go ahead and work on your fish, see how you can color them, what they're going to look like, and then decorate the background with them. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson, and let me know if there's anything else that you all want to make. All right, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.